Okay, let's assemble the FabScan Pi, the open source 3D scanner for your Raspberry Pi. This is the wood and the glue for the housing. And now please take the pieces that you can see in the picture for the lid. Apply some glue to the top of the lid. This is the bigger part. And then mount the front of the lid to it. Now turn it over so that it's standing on the top of the lid and apply glue to the left piece and then we have to mount it and in order to mount it we have to bend the front a little bit as you can see in the video here uh, so it should not be dry everything is still um, not really glued together we are waiting for the glue to dry apply glue to the right piece and again bend the lid a little bit and it is mounted so now we have to glue the hinge to the lid, just a little bit of glue and stick it in. Done. So we continue with the rest of the housing. So please grab the other wooden parts and pay attention. They have markings. Some of them have markings LF and RF. We will see why this is important later. So apply glue to the smallest part piece and add it to the base plate. Then we glue the front piece to the smallest piece. And this creates a step that protects the lid. Now we grab the back of the housing and we apply glue to the base plate and to the back and assemble it. This was easy. Now we have to be careful. We are starting with the left piece, the left wall of the housing. Apply glue to it and to the base plate and the left piece as you can see has some holes for the for the camera so be careful and be sure that it is the right piece and you can see it by the markings LF so the last part is the right part of the box apply glue to it to the inner side of it And of course some glue to the base plate and to the back and now you can mount it. So the box is ready. We only have to um, be careful and to be sure that you have the right pieces together and then you can Add the lid and see if everything fits. Well, you can close the lid and there you go. The FabScan housing is assembled. So next we need to mount the components, the motors, the laser and the electronics. So we start with the motor. We add a mounting plate to it. This plate holds the turntable and we secure it with a little screw and then please take four screws for mounting the motor to the motor hole. This is the one on the right side of the housing of the base plate. Yeah, and use the four screws for mounting it. Now we can prepare the turntable and it has two pieces. The bottom piece 
just screws into the mounting plate and the upper part will be glued to the bottom so apply glue and then glue it together and pay attention so that the four holes align to each other. Yeah, done. So continue with the camera. The camera um, consists of a camera module and we start with inserting the ribbon cable and you have to be careful about the orientation so the blue um, side goes to the electronics, so the component side and not to the camera side. Then you add the mechanical components to the PCB and add the screws to the camera module and then from the bottom you use the plastic nuts for the plastic screws to fix the cam camera module to the camera PCB and you can see there are two cables one has a red and a black wire this is for power and the ribbon cable is um, the data cable and you have to put it through uh, the PCB. Now we can mount it to the left side of the housing using four screws. Then take the cables, start with the smaller one, put it to the smaller hole and then the ribbon cable, it goes to the wider part. Okay, now we continue with the laser. First we have to mount the servo for the laser. Just use two screws and mount the servo to the base plate. Um, we will not use the servo for the moment, it is just for mounting the laser. So the cable will act, will not really be uh, used. Now we continue with the mount for the laser. So glue together two parts, add a nut and then apply more glue so that you can assemble the mount and this holds the nut inside of the, of the wood. Then there's a back mount and we have the bottom part. Everything has to be glued together. This is the bottom part of it and you have to glue um, the gear of the servo to it as we can see here in the video. And then add a screw to the top of the mount so that you can now insert the laser module to the mount, just put it in and use the screw for um, fixing it. Then put the wires through the hole and add the plastic gear to the servo. Done. Now we mount the Raspberry Pi to the bottom of the base plate. We use four screws and then we start with the wiring of the motor. So um, there is a screw terminal for the stepper driver that connects the, the head to the motor. Um, you probably will have different colors for your wires but um, Pay attention to the video if you're having the same motor as we have. So screw in all the four wires and then the stepper motor is done. You can add the stepper driver or again pay attention to the orientation. And now we continue with the laser module. 
so the, the power of the laser goes to another screw terminal and the red wire goes to the right. Um, or put it this way, the, the black wire goes to the to the white connector that we can see now here that connects the LED ring to the head. Okay, what is missing? The ribbon cable, it has to go through the PCB before you can mount it. And again, pay attention to the orientation of the cable. The blue side has to go up. So this means going to the Ethernet port, to the USB port. And then you can press the connector down and this holds the ribbon cable in place. Now we put the head on the Raspberry Pi. Be careful and make sure that um, you have it aligned so that the 40 pins are all inside of the connector. The last step, if you have one, is a switch. It's a security switch um, that Disconnect the laser, put the wires through the base plate and from the bottom side grab it and attach it to the screw terminal next to the power lines of the laser. So again you can see here the black wire, the red wire and now comes the switch. You have two cables for the switch, so both of them have, have to be inserted and screwed in. And now, the final step, apply some glue to the switch and position it to the edge of the, of the inner front wood. Wait a few minutes, a little bit longer than you would expect here from the video. Let it dry. And then you can add the, the lid again. And make sure that when the lid closes that you hear a click. And when the lid opens that you hear, hear another click. This means the lid has connection to the uh, switch. Thank you for watching and please give us feedback and visit our website. Thank you.